Hey YouTube, how's it going out there? This is the Audio Olympian bringing the sound and video to you today. Thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, if you like what you see here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to let you know when we drop another video. Today we're going to do some subwoofer testing and we have the SVS PB16, their flagship sub here. 16 inch cone and I believe it is 1500 watts of power in there. And we have the Golden Ear Super Sub XXL, their flagship subwoofer. And that one is rated at 1600 watts. So it is a little bit more powerful. Obviously the differences here is the sheer size. So you have the SVS Sub, which is like the size of a coffee table. And then you have the Golden Ear XXL, which is like the size of a footstool. So we're gonna crank this sound up here. I like using the Disney uh, World of Wonder disc here because it has a whole lot of options on there but a lot of good testing clips if you're into movies and uh, stuff like that which I am so we're gonna take this here we're gonna crank it up to about 43 on the volume on the Marantz um, preamp both levels are set at 10 we're gonna do this first slope here for about three clips um, with both of the subwoofers running uh, so you can see right here we're gonna use the audio setup tool which is called the buzz and rattle test to let you know if you got anything rattling around in your house anything on the shelves or on the walls or anything like that even maybe your walls themselves so we'll go ahead and turn this up and then we'll let the slope go we have both of them running right now and then we'll do a couple of tests with um, each one individually so let's get this up here Let this go a few times and then we'll do some individuals. So there you go. Now we're gonna try, we're gonna turn the volume all the way down on the golden ear. And do the same test. Same test, just run in the SVS. And there you go. I don't know if you noticed it, but I surely did with uh, a lot less bass uh, that time with just the SVS sub. Um, I could still feel it though, you know, in my in my sofa a little bit in the floor here, which I'm running in the in my lower level here. I'm on a concrete floor with with carpet and rugs, so um, being that I could still feel it a little bit, you know, that bass is still hitting pretty deep. But it was a lot less atmospheric bass like I didn't feel it or hear it all around I could just sense it more so let's go ahead and turn the power off on the SVS and then we'll crank up the golden ear okay so we can turn the volume up on the golden ear here I'm sure this is pretty blurry for you guys. You really can't see it well, but I promise you it'll straighten up here in a second. Okay, so now we're gonna run the same test again. Turn the volume back up, everything is the same. 
And then this is the Golden Ear XXL. Wow, big difference there. That's actually making my walls and ceiling shake a little bit. I can hear the rattle. I'm not sure if you're catching that on the on your mics and sound. So there we go with that. Let's turn the volume back down a little bit. So now we can just talk a little bit about some of the nuances and things that went on there. Well, doing the head to head here, I gotta say, I the, the golden ear was more punchier. It was stronger, it hit, it hit harder. Like I said, I could feel the sofa a little bit more and I could, um, hear my walls and my ceilings shake and a little bit of rattle in there. Not so much with the uh, the SVS. Now that one did give me deeper sound. The bass was lower. You could tell probably because of the size of the cabinet there. It gives you that really low, low sound. Um, so it was probably even giving out sound without me hearing it because it can get down that low. But again, you got one 16 inch cone in the, the SVS sub compared to the two 12 inch drivers in the Golden Ear sub and a hundred more watts on the amp there. So that's probably um, making a big difference in the, the bass output there. I'm actually quite glad I did this. I haven't uh, ran a, a head to head test like that in a, in a little while. So. If you're choosing, if you're on the fence, there are a few things you can consider here at the risk of, you know, trying to keep this video as short as possible. Um, the SVS sub is really cool and it is a monster. And I don't ever have to worry. I don't think I have to worry about it bottoming out at all because it's going to take, you know, a mountain of power to, to really make that thing bottom out. And I've blasted it pretty hard and pretty deep in some movies and music and so forth. And nice, tight, clean, punchy bass. Um, but it didn't. Again, it is the size and the price. I believe uh, it might be like $24.99 if you buy it retail. Just straight through SVS. So the size and the price is a, um, is a consideration there. The Golden Ear XXL. Again, to me, it seemed like it hit harder. It is smaller which is more convenient. You can fit it in more different areas of your house if you're a little bit limited in room. Um, and it, was, it wasn't as deep. The sound wasn't as deep, but it was punchier. It did, like I said, it shook my ceilings and my, and my walls better than the SVS did. So, and that price tag I believe on that is just under 2,000. It might be 190. Um, or 1999 I believe. I haven't checked the site in a while. I've had mine for, for quite some time. And I do play both of mine um, at the same time, all the time. I prefer it that way. But I'm actually quite shocked. I like that uh, the XXL really held its own against the SVS. I uh, really wish you guys could come over and check it out yourself. Uh, you'd be a little shocked and amazing. But Again, if you're gonna go for cost and space, I would say the XXL is, is the way to go. If you just want sheer sound and some deep, deep, deep bass and you wanna be able to push your speaker to its full limits uh, then, and you got the room for it and the, and the money for it, then you'll be happy with the SVS PB16. So there we have that there. Uh, please feel free to leave any comments um, ask any questions. I'll be more than happy to assess anything for you guys. But again, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.